Hey guys, my name is Hugo Bantoon Jr. Sorry for the vacuuming noises in the background. I have a little Roomba robot on the floor right now. But we have my first ever narrow gauge Bachman. We have Peter Sam. I actually liked his design the most because I feel like Scarloe, Reneus, and Rusty kind of have all the same colors because Scarloe's red, Reneus is like an orangish red, and then Rusty's orange. So I wanted to get a engine that was different. I think next, even though it's not Reneus's normal livery, I do want to get the yellow Reneus. So here we have Peter Sam in his box. It says 14 plus, of course, because he is very small, too small for a child that is eight and younger. Usually Bachman are eight plus. So we have Peter Sam, the back of the box, and then uh here he is out of the box i am taking him out real fast on the back it actually shows the item numbers and like the actual item names like scarlet reneus we have yellow reneus i never knew that yellow reneus came out after peter sam honestly i didn't know that but i figured that out once i seen like the dates and stuff I completely broke him, honestly. No. Here he is in all his glory. We have tiny Peter Sam. He is extraordinarily tiny. I hope I didn't break anything. I literally dropped him. I He took a plunge into the abyss. So yeah, here he is in all his glory. He's very tiny. I bought a bunch of N-Gage tracks so he could run on that. I never had N-Gage up until now which is why it took so long. Of course, he doesn't have moving eyes. I wish he had moving eyes, but that's fine. He has a CGI face as well. So here he is in all his glory. Here's his CGI face. We have his new funnel as well. There's a side of him with his nameplate number four. As you can see, there's also rivets on the side. If you see the reflection, there's a lot of details as well. Very, very small details. I think it's crazy how much detail they put in this little tiny engine. So we have the front buffers as well. It has different couplings than the HO scale models, which is cool. We have the back, which has the lamp, the windows, they're carved out, and the cab is also open, which is very nice. I really love open cabs. We have his tiny flywheel, which is always cute. His flywheel seems to be motorized as well, as it's not free rolling. But yeah, those are the little tiny details of Peter Sam. Here he is on my new N-scale terminal track. He runs really well. I can just push the dial a little bit and he's rolling. So he's a really smooth runner. He could go really slow, which is amazing. That means it's all working smoothly. His little pistons are so cute. I can't wait to get rolling stock for the narrow gauge engines as well as a uh, yellow Reneus. He looks really good. I love how he runs. So we have little tiny Peter Sam. Good glory, look at that! So this is the size difference between Peter Sam and Gordon. So of course it definitely scales up to narrow gauge. And this is the perfect scale for them to be next to each other, which is so cool. Cannot wait to make a bunch of remakes with the new narrow gauge engines I will be getting and the one that I've already got. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these. Also make sure to comment what you think about Peter Sam. I give him a 11 out of 10. He's such a good new model. I also have a surprise in the next unboxing. Oh no, this is so bad for my swerve. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.